All right, rolling my boy Tay. Right, you, you just killed it. I like how you interact with the crowd, man. I mean, it's definitely going down, man. The way Tay doesn't perform, you know what I'm saying? I perform from the heart. You know what I'm saying? I just like to have fun with the people. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely going down, man. I just love to have fun. And, and that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very happy person. You know what I'm saying? No worries, no trouble over here. You know now, what tell I mean? me this. Earlier when we was talking, we was talking about this whole, you said you was, you're you a foster child, right? Okay. So what what happened? I mean, you you grew up with your I mean, parents. It, like I, what what happened? I mean, to make a long story short, you know what I'm saying. You know, you know, just like the everyday story. You know what I'm saying. You know, my mom and dad. You know what I'm saying. They did their thing. You know, like they was they was out there in the world. They was out there in the streets. You know what I'm saying. And um, you know, all I remember just yes, to be real with y'all and being real with the camera. All I remember, you know what I'm saying, just people bust open the door. A bunch of white people. White, <laughs> man, I ain't hating though, nothing like that. <laughs> but just being real, man, you know they bust open the door, and you know some of my cousins right now today, you know some of them was older, you know all I remember them just hollering and screaming, and you know my auntie just let us how, go. How old know what was she? I was about two. I can't really remember, maybe two or three. But you you actually remember somebody just, busting in the door. I just you remember. remember. The only thing I really remember, just to be honest with y'all, I just remember somebody busting up the door, you know what I'm saying, and just saying, like, you got to go. And I remember me hiding up under the bed with my sister, and my sister was crying. I really didn't know what was going on, but all I remember that my auntie told my sister, like, you got to go. And all I remember, they just put us in a white van. And, then, and this was like, this was the white people putting y'all in the van, or this? Yeah. It was the it was the HRS. Y'all don't know what that is. HRS put us in a white van, and you know we we had to we had to go. You know what I'm saying? I don't really think my auntie could really afford all them kids that you know what I'm saying. Everybody put them on. So that's what it was. So from there, they they took you to a far side. So you split. Your family split I mean, up after that. I mean, or from was... from there, it was just me and my sister and my brother. Cause my oldest brother, he was too old to go. He was already like. He was he was a baby, so like you know, from from there, you know what I'm saying. They took us to this little home, you know, for a couple of days to just to see if 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 my mom would come and get me. But you know, like she never came, so you know they shipped us on to um Miami. You know what I'm saying. So they shipped so they shipped so they shipped us on up to Miami. You know what I'm saying. They went to a um a shelter home in Miami, and from the shelter home in Miami, you know what I'm saying. We went to a foster home, and that's when me and my brothers. And my sisters, you know what I'm saying? That's when we all split up. But you still keeping contact with them oh, when that hit? Definitely right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm I'm, I'm definitely working with my brothers because they're the ones who taught me how to rap. You know what I'm saying? Like because like man, my, my, my life story is so crazy, man. Make a long story short. You know, I went to the foster home, okay, at the age of at the age of the age, I'm gonna tell y'all my age. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I re got back with my family, you know what I'm saying? My brother then was into the rap thing, you know. I was into the sports, but you know, I used to always see him rap. Then I was like, you know what? I, I want to try this. And then you know, like, you know, when they wrote my first rhyme for me, I just fell in love with it. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, what what have you been struggling? Because I know you say everything's all happy and go lucky, but everybody has a day-to-day I mean, yeah, -day -day struggle. Everybody have a struggle. You know what I'm saying? Like me coming up in the foster home, being in the foster, being in the foster care. You know what I'm saying? Standing in a foster home with a bunch of people that like you really don't even know like you know what I'm saying waking up every day you know what I'm saying don't know this person you have to get to know this person and soon you get to know this person this person going to another foster home and then a new person come in then you be like whoa like like you you, you, you really never you know what I'm saying stable until you know what I'm saying like in, in, until the day when I move I'm, I'm sorry until the day I move out of shelter home into a foster home like back then, I really didn't know, you know what I'm saying? I was a child, and like right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I really thank Mama Jean, you know what I'm saying? Because that's my foster mama, you know? She raised me from the age of five all the way up to the age of 18. And then that's when I, so, no, my, my bad, 17. And then that's when I moved back with my real family. So do you do you think it hurt you or did anything to you being in the foster home? Or you think that made you I mean, stronger? No, I mean, it made me stronger, but you know, like just being real, the only thing that I felt about that whole situation is like, just being a kid, you know what I'm saying? Just thinking to yourself, like, like, why my mama don't, why my mama won't come and get me? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, why my daddy won't come and get me? Things some, some, sometime, like, sometime today, man, I'll be like, you know what, man, my daddy fucked my life up. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I hate him, sometimes I love him. You know what I'm saying? Because that's my father. 
And you know what I'm saying? He was going through a situation. You know, everybody has situations in life. Tell me this, because uh, I had a show about that before, and I was telling people, my dad, he sold crack until right. probably about five years ago. He got, But he, he, when I was like four, he got shot and put in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. He went to prison for like, probably like a year. And when I had this show, people were saying, you should fall the users and not necessarily the dealers. How do you feel about that that whole thing of... I mean, I'm, I'm gonna tell you like this right here, man. That's, that's just being real, the way I feel. That's, that's a great question too. Like, that's, that's, that's really great. But like, back then, man, you know, like, a lot of people were trying a bunch of different stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna lie. My, my mom and daddy, they, they were grown. You know what I'm saying? They were shit. They could do anything they want to do. They, they grown. But you know, like, it's just like, you giving a, a baby some candy, you know what I'm saying? They gonna take that candy and then like, I'm, I'm sorry, let me, let me rephrase it. If you give a baby some juice, you know what I'm saying? If you give a baby some sugar, you know what I'm saying? They gonna, they gonna, they gonna always want that sugar if you if you give it to them because that, that tastes good to them. So you ain't never been for that dope boy? Nah, dope, I, no, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I ain't gonna never be no hater on no dope boy. They do what they do, they make their money. Well, I'm telling you straight up, man, you know what I'm saying? You, you fucking up little kids' lives. Because of people that you sell the drugs to, you know what I'm saying? They got kids, man. And you know what I'm saying? Like, do what you do, man. I, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. But like, you know, somebody ain't eating that night. You know what I'm saying? Some little kid ain't eating. All right, well, yo, you locked in. This a Tay Dism exclusive on the Mayweather Live Show. Make sure y'all visit MayweatherLiveShow.com. Hey, we about to take it in the club. Do the thing. You saw him hold it down. We rocking with Tay Dism. Yo, what it is, man? I told y'all my fucking life story is shit, man. I hope y'all niggas want to fuck with DJ your boy now. Damn, I'm a real ass nigga too, man. You know what I'm saying? I come from a fucked up situation. You know, I'm doing what I got to do. You don't believe me? Check out my resume. That's what it is. It's definitely going down. And I got my dog in this Who it is? Bitch. You already know. Man, you know DJ That's how we do it in the city. Y'all about to see how we get it cracking. We live at Chubby's. You know what I'm saying? Take this and your boy DJ Dem. Oh, amazing. You know hey, we about to go ahead and get it in. Y'all going to see what time it is. How we do it. Dream girl, baby, so it's all about you. 24-7, girl, I'm all about you. It's real. 